So welcome to this video. If you're a programmer or you're a designer or developer, you create applications, whether mobile applications or web applications, and you have challenges, you know, it takes so much time to create the UI US designs of those applications. Then today I want to recommend this tool. Uh, it's called Stitch, Stitch with Google, which is this link. I'll link it in the description of this video. So it helps you create is an uh, AI tool that helps you create amazing UI UX designs for your applications, whether they are web applications or mobile applications. Okay. Take for instance, you know, a UI UX is what gives you a reference. If you are designing your website, something you can quickly look at. Okay. This thing is supposed to be here. You know, you look at it, it gives you a good reference on what to, you know, uh, do at every point in time, what, where to place what, and trust me, you really need that uh, reference as a de developer or even a designer, it's a quick guide. Though it's in the beta version, uh, but it, it works because I've really helped, I've used it to create some amazing designs. But before we even get started, let me, um, let's see, uh, Let's say why do we even um, need this? Let's say you go to Figma because Figma is, you know, you can use Figma to create amazing UI UX designs. Take for instance, you are developing a mobile application. Let's just search mobile mobile apps and you search. Okay, you have uh, some of these mobile applications. For instance, there could, you could go for web. You could, you know, choose the one you want let's say you want to create an app you go to figma a ui ux rather you go to figma and of course you can open this up in figma and it's going to show you what that design what that ui ux design will look like okay so you can see that uh, one of these designs has opened up so what you could uh, what you could do is that you can work on this like the way it is, you could edit it, you can, you know, click on the video aspect, you know, go to this uh, right hand side, you could, you know, change the width, the height, the percentage, you know, change a lot of things about this. But why do we need to, you know, uh, work with Stitch? Again, you, you can see we, we easily uh, choose a template to work with here. What if what you need, you need a custom design that is not uh, in any of the templates that is here. So what do you do? That means you need to, you know, create a unique UI UX for yourself. So that is why we are using Stitch because with that you can, you know, create a customized UI UX design for whatever application, whether web or mobile application that you are building. So back to Stitch, as you can see, I've used it to create a couple of, you know, designs uh, recently. Okay, so what you just need to do is you enter the prompt. You enter the prompt here, all right, and it's going to help you generate a design. Even if you don't know the complete uh, uh, prompt you need to enter, you can just put an idea, or better still, you can use ChatGPT to refine your prompt, then bring it back here. Or again, you can just put a prompt idea. Either way, it's going to help you generate that. And again, you could see uh, there is web, web, and the uh, mobile and web version okay so whatever if it is web you could it will generate for both you enter it then generate for web again come back to generate for mobile all right so let's let's try it out let's see if i let me just go with what is here and make a catalog page with uh, seasonal dec deco item let me just minimize let me just see what we have so that you can see how it works generate designs so you give it a few moments is going to you know yes it's going to start working on that and as you can see it's going to uh, bring out uh, that design Also, so you can see that our design is out again. You could see a color here. This is a reflection of the color that is going to be here. You can change it. You could click here, you know, change it the, the fake color to whatever color you want. But right now, I'm comfortable 
with this okay um again once your design is ready you could export it to figma all right you could export it to figma then x-ray check the sizes the width and make any change you will want to make it's directly linked you could copy your design directly to figma again if you are not satisfied with whatever prompt you've gotten you can as well um, edit it okay you can see i could say give me give me three pages or give additional two pages give additional two pages of the above of the above design all right so again you can enter that so it's going to start to you know work on that again okay you can see it's going to can you de describe two, ad two additional can you describe the two additional pages you like to home decor for example product details and shopping guides yes add yes add products details and shopping cart. This is just an example. You can go ahead to, you know, really give good prompt according to what you want. So, yes, add product details and shopping. You can see, guys, it's going to add two additional pages to what we have already. So, it's going to add two more pages to what we have if you are not satisfied you can go ahead to maybe ask to you know again go ahead to you know add whatever you want to it uh, you can see but i'm comfortable with this all right if you are not probably you could say add the authentication page okay so just go ahead you know give it refine your prompt refine your prompt so that it can understand what you want it could be a, a you know a little photo bank but just describe what you want and it's going to generate it it is it's it's added an authentication page i'm doing for web all right you could go ahead to do for mobile so all of my pages are ready i have the first one here okay then i have the two additional pages which is this i have the two additional pages which it added then i have the authentication page which it just generated okay let's see the last one yes this is the last one so that is it you can see that you can describe what you want and it will go ahead to you know do it for you so let's export it to figma let me show you how to do that starting with the last let's copy to figma so here you could click on copy you could edit here but i don't want to do that click on copy to figma i just hit copy and it's going to copy that design you know just control v we control c would have you know done that already so let's go to figma and you know put that design there so here yeah. so once you are here you can see paste here okay to have a you know you could close this okay let's let's just you know paste here or oh, like i said control v we also do that so you can see we have our design pasted you could adjust the size as you can see automatically you can see that on my right hand side the there will be a, a, a drop down dialog where you can modify and edit this design but before then let's let's uh, resize it let's scale it down a little okay all right so then we can move it a bit to the left i think it's more bit too fast all right so we have that there so let's just quickly 
move the rest back to You can see guys we have what we need so that is how you are going to do uh, what that is how you are going to do it if you are starting to create your design then what i want to show you again if i click on any of them then you can see that on the left hand side i could adjust the feature you could see dimension here you know you could change that on my right hand side You know, you could see different features, height, which we could modify, opacity, you know, frame, you know, percent, we could uh, scale it up a bit if we want. Then there are different features. We could go down to also check the one we want to work with. All right, different kinds. So I could, you know, work on each each part of the design then change it to what i want you know with all of this change the uh, with all of this so you could see when you are done then you could you know start to design your application be it mobile or web this can really be awesome like i used it to generate these two let's start uh, doing it for you okay you could see this one is for both web and mobile and it's supposed to move all right so there's a web version up then there's a mobile version below so this is it for this video guys i hope i hope you find this video helpful i hope you find this video helpful and you start creating ui for your applications I hope it's helpful to you Thank you so much. Kindly subscribe to the channel. You know, some of these videos, they take a little while to be able to come up with. Like, subscribe to encourage us. I'll see you in the next video.